At flipsidegaming.com you can use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10, and now you also get automatically entered into the Richard Kane Ferguson Playmat giveaway. I was trying out this uh, Tashar combo deck, which was pretty fun, that I kind of want to play some more. So it's pretty convoluted, but the way the combo works essentially is imagine having a Tashar in play, Tashar 4 mana 2 2 flyer that says whenever we cast a historic spell, return target creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from our graveyard to the battlefield. We're playing this whole historic package with a bunch of cheap historic cards and a Mox Amber to help us ramp as well. Then one of the other key pieces in the deck is Rona, which when she enters the battlefield, we get to exile target the historic card from our graveyard and then we can cast non land cards exiled with Rona. So what we want to try and set up is fill our graveyard until we find a couple of uh, chamber sentries and or mox ambers. Um, we need two Ronas, one in the graveyard, one in player or hand. And then what we can do is when we cast Rona, the shard triggers, we get to return a Rona from our graveyard to the battlefield. Rona enters the battlefield, we can exile another historic card from our graveyard. We want to be exiling either a chamber sentry or a mox amber which are two historic cards that we can play for zero mana. We cast them for zero mana, which again triggers the Shar. Of course, one of the two Ronas died to the legendary rule, so we get to return Rona once again, which can again get back one of our zero mana artifacts, and this is kind of a, an infinite loop. And then our win condition is a diligent excavator that says whenever we cast a historic spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So this is how we mill the opponent out by casting a bunch of historic spells and then milling the opponent out. So it's a pretty convoluted combo, but there is some consistency here since we can find a lot of the combo pieces through the graveyard. So we've got Stitcher Supplier to fill the graveyard, can target ourselves with the Diligent Excavator first, so we can kind of set up the combo. We've got uh, Fibblethub as a cheap historic card that lets us ramp with Mox Amber. Lazav can also copy one of the combo pieces like Tashar uh, if uh, Tashar is in the graveyard. Um, then Bugler can find almost all the combo pieces, can find Tashar, Rona, uh, can find uh, Chamber Sentry as well, so can find a lot of the different creatures. And of course Rona is one of the important cards in the deck, that can also just be a nice value play, getting back Historic card from our graveyard. And then Teferi gives us a little bit of interaction, nice against the uh, control decks. Then of course we've got our four copies of Tashar, and then four copies of certain Vengeful Bloodlord, which can also get back any of our combo creatures from the graveyard. We can play minus four right away, maybe get back at Tashar, and set up the combo that way. So yeah, that's kind of the basic gist of it. Let's play some more games. Alright, what about this hand? We've got a Supplier, which can fill the graveyard a little bit. Fibblethip as a turn to play, and then Rona to maybe get something back. We're missing a third land, but we're on the draw. We can probably draw another land here. So we'll try it. Playing this deck is definitely an adventure. Not a straightforward deck to play. Alright, so there's a Tishar in the graveyard already. Can maybe get that back with Sorin at some point, or exile it with Rona so we can replay it. For now we'll just play Fubblethup. All right, chapel's perfect. We actively want our supplier to die. There's always the option of shooting it down with our own chamber sentry as well. And bugler can also help us find the missing pieces. So we can attack up against a gate stack with not a lot of gates. So do we play Bugler or do we play Rona exiling Tashar? Don't have a fourth land lined up yet. I think I'll play Bugler for now. Which finds another Rona. Alright, so we've got double Rona, Tashar in the graveyard. So all we need now is a fourth land and a diligent excavator and we can go off. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Already have double chamber sentry as well. There's the first gate. Gates of Blaze is going to be kind of rough. 
if that happens, but they only have one gate in place so far. Alright, another Tashar. So still no fourth land, sadly. No Mox Ambers in sight. So I think I'm just attacking and playing another Fibbleth up here. Just to try and hit our land drops. And do we play a Chamber Sentry for two? I guess I will. That way we have the backup plan of just winning with damage. Say go. Alright, so we're almost there. In Gateway Plaza. So two gates in play now. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to pull off the combo through multiple gates of blazes. That's the first one. Mills a bugler, so that's not too useful. The fairy is nice. So now what? We can play a Sorin. Which can get back all sorts of things. We could play a Tashar from hand. And then play a zero mana chamber sentry, which triggers Tashar and can get back one of our creatures as well. Or do we want to just play a Teferi here? I mean, I don't think our opponent's playing many counter spells. I think I like the Shar. Play Chamber Sentry for zero. And then get back Bugler, which can hopefully find a Diligent Excavator. Could also get back the Supplier to mill our graveyard some more to set up these Ronas we have in hand. All right, find a Supplier with the Bugler. Attack for two. So we'll see here. It's a third gate, so now Gates of Blaze can wipe our entire board. That's a bummer. Yeah, the second Gates of Blaze might be a little bit much. And not drawing the lands means we can only do so many things per turn. I guess I'll just start with the Supplier, see if we can mill something useful for Rona. And then... If we don't, we can still play a supply or a Bugler. Alright, we milled a Mox Amber. So I kind of like going Rona, play Mox Amber for free. So we have one more mana to work with in future turns. And then we could cast a Mox Amber now, or we could wait until next turn. Hope that Rona survives, so we can go a Sorin, minus, get back to Shar, cast a Mox Amber, and then get a trigger from Tashar right away. I think I'm casting it now since I just want the Mox Amber in play. But it's definitely close. Like how many more Gates of Blazes is our opponent going to play? I guess we'll, we'll keep it in hand or in exile for now. And hope they don't kill Rona. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of moving pieces in the deck so that doesn't make it uh, simple to play. Because you've got the combo angle, a lot of ways to recur creatures from the graveyard. Sequencing is tricky. And at any point you could kind of assemble the combo. Wilderness Reclamation. Well, now I wish we had uh, resolved the fairy. Don't usually see Reclamation in the Gates deck. Why not play Amber? I want to keep the Mox Amber so we can cast it while we have a Tashar in play to get a trigger from Tashar. Alright, sadly your opponent does have Explosion. So there goes our Mox Amber, sadly. The Chamber Sentries, uh, we have to pay five different colors of mana to get back, so we can't play those. They're just showing up because they have relevant abilities while being in the graveyard. So yeah, now we definitely regret not playing the Mox Amber, but... We are hoping Rona was going to survive for a turn. So where does that leave us? We could try and resolve this Teferi to kind of nerf the Reclamation, or just bounce the Reclamation. I guess that's an okay place to start, and then... Probably want to keep up the... Blue-black dual land here, so that any blue or black land lets us play Lazav. Do they have a negate as well? 
just to grow spiral. Right, Mox Amber can play that one, play Lothav. And Excavator, I guess we want to keep on top here. If the Excavator is in the graveyard, basically we could get it back with the Shar. Drawing it is probably safer. And then just pass the turn for now. The cards exiled with Rona are tied to the individual card, so I don't think um, we can play the Mox Amber that's exiled with the first Rona and then play it with the second one. Alright, let's see what we can come up with here. Opponents mostly tapped out. Yeah, we can only play the cards exiled with the current Rona. Alright, so we draw Excavator. Basically have 5 mana here. So, sadly we can't Surin minus on the Shar and cast Historic Spell this turn. So is there any way we can still somehow combo off? I don't think so. So what we can do is just get the Sorin in play for now, plus instead. And then next turn we could minus, get back the Shar, play Rona, play Excavator and then we have the combo. Since there's another Rona in the graveyard. And then just plus for now. And attack, and then hope our opponent doesn't cast a huge explosion, killing our Sorin or whatever. Alright, hopefully her opponent cooperates and we get to show off the combo next turn, would be fun. We're not exposing our creatures to Gates Ablaze. And if the fairy's still in play, they can't act at instant speed during our turn, so the combo is kind of protected. Ascanta, that's fine. Reclamation, I mean, doesn't matter if the fairy's still around. So I think we should have the combo assembled here. here we go. So let's do this step by step. So let's minus four, get back to Char. Play Excavator. Play Rona. Alright, so these trigger. We have to select a target with the Shar before we can mill with the excavator. The Shar wants to get back another Rona. We'll mill the opponent at this point since we have everything we need in the graveyard. And then Rona wants to exile a chamber sentry. Take action. Another Rona enters the battlefield, so we have to keep one of the Ronas. Um I guess we'll keep the leftmost one. Get back another chamber sentry, doesn't really matter. Take action. So now we have a chamber sentry in exile that we can cast for zero mana. Which will again trigger Tashar, which again gets back our Rona. Mill the opponent. And that's kind of the combo here. Get back Chamber Sentry, take action. Play a Chamber Sentry. And we're slowly milling the opponents. Alright. So in Paper Magic we could now say we established a loop and move on with our lives. But uh, not the case on Arena. It's not the fastest combo to execute. 
Ideally, we have more than one excavator in place so we can execute the combo a little bit faster. I gotta also stay focused that I don't exile the wrong thing here. So this is a Rona trigger. So I wanna get a chamber sentry. All right, so our opponent realizes what's going on and they scoop it up. We were able to pull off the combo, which is pretty satisfying. So the sand's kind of tricky to keep with no blue mana. Probably got a mulligan. All right, still no blue mana, but I guess we'll keep. Don't think we want to keep excavator. If we were on the play, we could mill the excavator with the supplier, but the excavator's a little trickier to get back from the graveyard than a historic spell, since we can only get it back with the char. So it's unclear whether we even wanted a an excavator in the graveyard. Bugler. Say go. Alright, so we've got two suppliers into Rona, hopefully getting back something useful. So let's just play another supplier for now. Alright, double chamber sentry, so we've got all the zero mana artifacts we can hope for. Now we just need a an excavator. A Tashar and a second Rona. So still quite a few pieces. Alright. Null Hide Ferox we can shun block for a few times. I mean there's nothing useful to get back with the Rona here is a problem, so I, I think I'm kind of tempted to wait until we maybe mill something with the suppliers to get back with Rona, since I don't want to get back a chamber sentry. Alright, the shard is something we want to get back. Another Ferox. Alright. Now the problem is, if our opponent just kills our Rona, then we won't be able to get back to Shar in time. Since even if we run out both Mox Ambers, we will be one mana short of actually casting the Shar. So I think we just uh, play Rona and hope she survives the turn. Take action. And so we could run out a Chamber Sentry for one. Just to chum block Null Hide Ferox. I think I'll just wait for now. Much better to run these out once the Shards in play. Which will hopefully be next turn. Yeah, with two copies of Null Hide Ferox, it's going to be difficult for the opponent to kill Arona, since they would have to pay four extra mana for any non creature spells. I'm not sure if there's any creature spells that could kill Arona here. Don't think so. Alright, hoping to mill another Rona here. Excavator milled. That one we can also put to good use. We actually have the combo if we could mill a, another Rona here, since we have double Mox Amber, Tashar coming up, and a bunch of historic spells to get back cards from the graveyard. So it's actually funny how close we are to the combo. Alright, let's uh, play Tashar. So we can play a Mox Amber. And what do we get back? I guess first we want to get back Excavator. Since that can mill us some more and maybe find another Rona to put in the graveyard. Mox Amber resolves. Make a blue mana. And I guess I'll just run out a 2 2 Chamber Sender here. And then 
Tashar can get back a Stitcher Supplier, and then Excavator mills us some more, so we end up milling us for five. And if in those five mills we find another Rona, I think we have the combo. Since then we can Mox Amber, get back Rona, and take it from there. So I think I'm gonna go for it here. Just need a Rona in our top five cards, and there we go, there's Rona. I think we have it. So play Mox Amber. And now we can start milling the opponent. The shark gets back Rona. I'll mill myself first just to make sure in case I messed up somehow. So we have more stuff in the graveyard. But I'm pretty confident we can mill out our opponent here. So we'll keep the new Rona. Get back a chamber sentry. Take action. Keep the new Mox Amber, we can float a mana too for whatever that's worth. Play Chamber Sentry for zero. The shark gets back Rona. Miller opponents. Alright, well now we just need to wait for opponent to figure out that they're dead. Keep the new Rona. Exile one of these zero mana artifacts, doesn't matter which one. Doesn't matter that you keep the new Rona, I just want to make sure I have a zero mana play I can make still. Because if I don't keep the new Rona, then we are unable to play the exiled card since it tracks which Rona it came from. Get back the other Rona. Mill the opponents. Alright. Rona gets back zero mana artifacts. Resolve. Keep new Mox Amber. So we're also generating extra mana here for whatever that's worth. Get back Rona. Mill the opponents. Alright, I think our opponent um, figured out the combo, so <laughs> it's pretty convoluted, but because we have so much graveyard recursion shenanigans going on, it's actually not too difficult to assemble, as strange as that may sound. So this was on a mold to six as well, and it's not like our opening hand was particularly inspiring. It's got the right mix of jankiness, but still being able to win some games, which is pretty much where you want to be with your jank decks. It's no fun if you never win. But uh, yeah, would I make any changes to the current list? I think I'm pretty happy with it. Lazav is kind of a slow Soren, but we can't play too many for mana cards, and it's nice to have a two mana historic card to help us with Mox Amber as well. Otherwise, I would maybe add another Soren over Lazav, and uh, we can find Lazav with Bugler, whereas we can't find Soren, so that has a bit of synergy there too. Need all the Ronas, need all the Tishars, need all the zero mana artifacts. Supplier to mill the graveyard is useful too. Fibblethip is just an early cantrip and historic card is great. So yeah, I don't think there's many cards that we would want to cut. And then a relatively low land count since we also have the Mox Ambers for mana and some cantrips. Could maybe play like a 23rd land and cut something, not sure what. Yeah, seems to be working pretty well. But for now, I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.